Well, it's a $25 million a year problem for BART, fare evasion, people hopping over the gates. Well, now the agency is considering new designs for fare gates to stop potential cheaters. KPI x Betty Yu asked riders what they think of the options. Is it important for you that they really take this seriously, fare evaders? Because I pay day in, day out. It's a lot of money. Um, a lot of people just easily walk through. So, yeah, it gets like, it gets crazy sometimes. Bart says it's a top concern for riders. The agency shared these new gate options with KPIX 5. The first one is a swing style gate. It's modern and comparable to the existing one in terms of reliability. The second is a retractable barrier, though BART says it's less reliable and harder to maintain than the current gates. The third is similar to what's used in New York City subway stations. I think the third one is going to do it. That's what I'm doing. The third why, one. why is that? Because it reminds me of New York. Um, it's not hella easy to just hop over. You literally got to pay. We showed the three potential designs to some riders at the Embarcadero station. Uh, those are all pretty nice. I mean, they're definitely going to prevent people from getting in there. This one uh, in particular, I mean, it's, it's nice to look at to the eye. But I think these are great because there's not really a good way to, you know, you can't hop over them. You can't go around them. The glass one looks more European from when I've, I've traveled abroad. I feel like it's more, friend, it's more friendly than the New York style. Um, both of them seem like an upgrade and I don't think it will hurt. This summer, BART ran a pilot program at its Richmond station with stacked fare gates. It said this particular style cut down fare evasion by more than 50 percent. And at its Fruitvale station, this pop-up configuration did reduce fare evasion, but the design resulted in high maintenance costs. The transit agency is expected to decide on one of these three designs at its board meeting this Thursday. Ultimately, the new solution will apply throughout the district. Paul?